This rifle is an AKM, which is the modernized version of the AK-47. It's also the rifle that's most frequently used against our armed forces. It shoots a cartridge called the 7.62x39, and it's typically loaded with a steel jacketed penetrating bullet. Being an AR guy, I'm always happy when I get to shoot a really nice example of an AK like this one. And this is the driver's side windshield from an armored Humvee. The damage you see wasn't done in theater, it was actually done at this range for an ammo demonstration. But what's unique is that this windshield was shot from the inside out. I wasn't present for the demonstration and was not able to ask the people who shot this to know why they did it this way. But it doesn't matter because it actually gave me the idea to shoot it this way myself. And I got some pretty cool footage from doing that that helps to show how laminated armor glass works. So get ready for an equal dose of redneck and science coming up next on Twang and Bang. Give a guy an AK, some ammo, and some armored glass, and you know what's going to happen next. This first shot was done like the others that were already done on this glass before I got it. And this is from the polycarbonate side, or the inside of the windshield. The windshield, even though it was shot from the wrong side, still stopped the bullet by transferring its energy to all those shards of glass. Of course, all those shards of glass could cause injury of their own. And that's why this side that we're looking at, the side with the polycarbonate, is actually the side that goes towards the passengers. You can see how the polycarbonate cracked, but it still held together pretty well. And the polycarbonate is there to hold the shards of glass together. And we'll see that in the next two shots. You can also see how the damage that I did looks exactly like the damage that was already on here, confirming my suspicion that this was shot from the inside out. But there's still plenty of this windshield left to test, so I flipped it around, and even though you see cracks in the glass, there's still plenty of protection built into this windshield to stop 7.62x39. And that heavy steel frame has a lot to do with it. So these next two shots are going to be from the outside of the windshield towards the passenger compartment, and you're going to see a dramatic difference in results. That's the right side out. <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen. That was perfect. That's exactly what you expect to see when laminated armor glass does its job. All the glass you see coming at the camera, that's just stuff that's bouncing off the table and making it underneath the frame. None of that would be making it past the windshield that was actually installed into a vehicle. Here you can see the two craters created by those shots where the glass was shattered and showered away from the vehicle. This is the right direction. That glass took energy away from the vehicle, away from the occupants, and the occupants were fully protected from any injury whatsoever from those bullets. The inside of this windshield is still perfectly smooth, though there's a little bit of a bulge, there aren't any edges, nothing to cut somebody. That hole is where I shot the frame to see what the steel jacketed ammo could do, and it cut through that frame like butter. But the armored glass stopped it just like it was designed. And I'm going to show you just how cool the physics is behind how this armored glass works. Before I could talk about the physics, about how glass works as armor, I have to point out the obvious. And that's there are, there are cracks running from one side to the other, top and bottom of this panel. And there were cracks all over this windshield from the very first impact. That's how glass works as armor. It takes an impact force coming this way and distributes the energy sideways. All of those cracks, that's energy that was absorbed by the glass. Another thing to notice is that each layer of glass has its own pattern of, of cracking. And that's because each layer of glass has to be defeated by itself before the projectile can make it onto the next layer. That's why laminated glass often works better as armor than if this were one really thick piece of glass. The other thing that you notice is that in, in the camera shot from, from when I fired this from the correct side, the glass that's missing from here actually sprayed back at the camera. And that's energy that's taken away from the vehicle, away from the occupants by how this glass works. That's partly because 
glass is inflexible, so each subsequent layer of the of the laminated laminated panel prevents the glass particles from going in towards the vehicle. And it's also because this steel frame is pressing sideways, so it doesn't allow the actual free particles of glass to go sideways. So I think overall, it's actually really neat to see how glass can work as armor, uh, sometimes even better than a steel panel of equal size, certainly one of equal weight. I'd like to take this time to thank the men and women of our armed services and, and those of our allies for putting themselves in harm's way, protected many times by, by nothing more than a panel of glass like this or, or oftentimes much less. Your service, your sacrifice is what's protecting my First Amendment right to make videos like these. My Second Amendment right to protect my family with firearms. And I really do appreciate what you do. I find it pretty interesting to see the science behind what we're doing to protect our warriors from our enemies. And, and I hope you found this video interesting as well. If you like this video, please take the time to log into YouTube and click the like button. Now more than ever, YouTube needs to know that you like firearms-oriented programming. Be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff like explaining how armor glass works. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.